Rod McKenzie joins us from the Road Haulage Association. We are hearing some troubling stories, Rod, aren't we? We are, Jeremy, uh, and you make all, all the important points about the importance of truck drivers. Uh, apart from the uh, other points that you raised, there's another, there has been another problem, one of social distancing. In other words, when truckers have arrived uh, at a distribution centre or even at supermarkets, they've sometimes been corralled into waiting areas uh, where they've been in very close proximity with other people, therefore not been able to socially distance. And that's wrong. All these things we have complained about. And I'm happy to say that compared with the situation two weeks ago, things are generally, generally much better. We still get every day, uh, you know, one or two stories of things going wrong and truckers being told, oh, no, you can't use our toilets, which I think is absolutely outrageous uh, because without truckers, you simply wouldn't be getting the things we need uh, and we've all got a part to play uh, in getting through this crisis why would you uh, treat drivers in that way well you, you mentioned that the toilets issue and i did see a lot on twitter a couple of weeks ago about this rod has that got better then it's got a bit better yeah it has got a bit. we've been making a lot of noise we've complained to the supermarkets uh, we've complained to uh, the uh, motorway service station uh, areas um, and, and to be fair a lot of them have put their hands up and said sorry about that you know we think perhaps some of the staff were being a bit over officious um, but there is a new problem which is starting up now which is that some of these service stations and service areas are being closed down because there simply isn't much work for them to do um, and, and not many customers because so many drivers and so many car drivers are not on the roads and of course that makes uh, that, that makes it economically inefficient to open these places uh, and then they close them down and as a result of that truckers have got nowhere to get some food or to use toilet facilities so um you're you're absolutely right it's it's tough it's really tough being a trucker at the moment and they're doing a great job i've heard conflicting stories rod i've heard i've heard people saying that you know that there is more to deliver than ever partly because of online ordering and so on and other people saying no actually so much of the economy is seized up that there's less work it's a really good point. I think if you're busy, you've never been busier. Uh, but half, yes, half the UK truck fleet is parked up at the moment. And those would be the trucks that would typically be delivering to uh, clothes stores, for example, or DIY centers or factories uh, or a whole range of other places, you know, uh, uh, deliveries from breweries, for example, because the pubs are closed. So um, the, the trucks involved in that trade, the firms involved in that trade, uh, you know, they're, they're running idle and um, there's a real worry. Um, our evidence is that there may be many thousands of businesses. These are all small and medium-sized lorry businesses. They're, they're, they're not big ones. 85% um, of our industry is, is 1 to 15 trucks. So uh, the, these firms have uh, low cash flow, small cash flow, that, so they've got a cash problem, uh, they, uh, they've got bills to pay, and they're not getting their invoices paid. Uh, and many of them are looking down the barrel now. And for many thousands, I think we're only a matter of weeks away from uh, them closing. Why does this matter to us? Uh, well, it matters a lot because when the economic recovery starts or when business restarts, we will need lorries to move stuff. And if the lorry have gone bust or their businesses have gone bust, we'll be in trouble and the economy will be in trouble. And that's why we're saying to the government, yep, lots of people are saying they're a special case, but without road haulage, the economy would be back on the critical list very quickly. Thank you very much, Rod McKenzie.